Oh, Baxter, you are my little gentleman. I'll take you to foggy London town because you are what, my little gentleman? This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Neighbor. Did you just throw a burrito out your window? Huh? I believe I did. What are you high or something? Whoa. Did you see what happened? I did see. That was a terrific little spill. That's quite a raspberry. That's my chopper you just thrashed, bros of. Easy, compadre. I'm your friend out here, all right? I want you to fix my chopper before I stomp your goopy ass. If you want to throw down in fisticuffs, fine. I've got Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary waiting for you, right here. You destroyed the only thing I love. All right, there it is. What do you love? I love poetry. And a glass of scotch. And of course, my friend Baxter here. Well, guess what? Now this is happening. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? That's how I roll. Baxter. Huh? No! So the first thing I do when I wash my sew-in is a few days before I add a little bit of kaleidoscope drops. And <clears throat> the shampoo I'm going to be using. And so the shampoo I'm going to be using is Tresemme Rich Moisture Hydrolonic Complex. and the conditioner. Once that's all said and done, this is my leave-in spray and my heat protectant. I'm not going to use a leave-in conditioner right now because I have a lot of oil on my hair anyway. And so, first things first, and so first things first, I've got to And so And so these are semi low quality bundles, but I make them work. And I, when I wash them, they do shed a little bit. So I'm not gonna like. Be back. I whip my head back and forth. I whip my head back and forth. If I'm honest, I like it when my weave gets like this. Cause it's big, it's humid, it's puffy. And in my opinion, it just looks more natural when it gets about a weekend. I did just co-wash it with only conditioner, like maybe on Tuesday. No, on like maybe Thursday before I went to Beyonce. And this is what it looks like. This be what it look like.
country thick, country thick corn fed, braised on grandmama cornbread. Grew up on short change, now I got long bread. Give the best head. Okay, so today I am desperately needing to finish at least one project before I move on to the other thing because that's really been like my biggest issue right now. I don't finish what I started. And so y'all know I went to the Beyonce concert, but most of y'all don't know because I haven't put my footage together in order to drop the video because this has been like tired. So I'm needing to get my energy together and prioritize my day. Work on one thing, one video, one segment at a time and stop making all these other videos until I put the first one together. I've got my work cut out for me because I probably have hours and hours and hours of footage available on my camera, my SD card, my external hard drive, and on my actual laptop. And my phone. And my business phone. And probably my iPad too, but my iPad has literally been powered off for like a year because I just can't mentally bring myself to pull that stuff up because I know it's hours and hours of footage on that alone just by itself. Jesus be a coffee. I don't even drink coffee. I'm allergic. But Jesus be. What would Beyonce do? She said, go harder. He thought he was loving me right. I told him go harder. She said go harder. Motherfucking Beyonce. I have got so much projects to actually finish. I got 90 days until Weddings Off, the actual full album comes out. And so I've got visuals to actually put together. And mind you, yeah, they, they, they are, it's hours and hours and hours worth of footage I need to put together and see what we get. And so, boy. Is that overwhelming or not? Nah? We gonna see, bitch. But yeah, this is technically my favorite way to see my hair. I might just be telling myself that lie because I don't feel like washing it. But honestly, like, yes, I do have to get ahead of things with editing and all of that. However, I also have to keep myself up and I can go find a stylist to wash my weave and put me under the dryer and I could also buy the services or purchase the services of a good video editor um but when am I going to find the time to look for this person these people right now yeah I heard it right now yeah Hey look, you are the he visual so phony, so I only call him when I'm horny, he only answer when he want me, he always says it's funny, what the fuck do you mean, but I'm ready for the real thing, and he don't want nothing, I guess I'm just blowing off steam, it's either my way or the highway, sucker niggas go away, while rich niggas gravitate, the gravity of this depravity is sending me, I need a rub free, maybe some therapy, how about some chemistry? I'm trying to be a better me. Hercules and Athena, why you clapping your cheeks up? Lunging my sheets up and turning up your speakers. I got your baby daddy blowing out my twinkles. Cause he, the Billy Ray, to my Aretha. The only boy who could ever reach her was a son of a preacher. I got that nigga kissing on this pussy while I'm blind him with Deuce. Now I'm drunk and feeling loosey goosey and he playing with this pussy. Like I said, that nigga's so phony. So I only call him when I'm lonely. He only answers when he wants me. He always answers for me. What the fuck do you mean? But I'm
but I'm ready for the real thing, and he don't want nothing. I guess I'm just blowing off steam. It's either my way or the highway. Suck a nigga go away, while rich niggas gravitate. The gravity of this depravity is sending me. I need a rub freeze, maybe some therapy. How about some chemistry? I want to be a better man, most definitely. Baby girl is a motherfucking problem Cause I can take your nigga no problem Cocky golden hoe, that's my only fucking problem Shake your derriere in those derrion jeans Ass so fat, they split up the seam Ass so fat, make your bitch switch teams Ass so fat, got you running through my dreams <laughs> Take two. Turn. What he likes and he likes my thighs He's six foot five with a brown sleepy eyes And a clean drop top ride Come on now and daddy take me for a ride Cause you in for the ride of your life Cause I'm a rough rider I ride that nigga rough Then I dig off in his guts Did he say enough is enough Cause baby you that bitch What's your cash at Cause baby you that bitch Cause he ain't got no type He just like what he like and he likes you in for the ride of your life cause I'm a rough rider I ride that nigga rough till he nut off in my butt and I say enough is enough cause daddy I'm your bitch where that cash at cause daddy I'm your bitch and he ain't got no type he just like who he like and he likes my eyes he's six foot five with the brown sleepy eyes and a clean drop top ride come on now and daddy take me for a ride Cause you in for the ride of your life Cause I'm a rough rider I ride that nigga rough And he nut off in my gut And we have a baby in nine months A baby raise my kids Get your mind right A baby raise my kids Get your mind right Cause I ain't got no type I just like who I like And I like his ride And he's six foot five He got insurance on his life 
and he down to take me as his wife. Little do he know he in for the ride of his life. Nigga better sleep with one eye open. Cause if I catch you cheating by one eye odor, then I'ma drive off in your new Range Rover. Cause I put your dog ass nigga six feet under. Leo ass with nothing but a broke down Honda. Get that revenge body like Jane Fonda. Chloe Kardashian ain't nothing truer. Truth be told, your next bitch is a stone cold loser. Long headed hoe don't make me lose it. Cause he ain't got no type. He just like what he like and he like my thighs. He's six foot five with the brown sleepy eyes and a clean drop top ride. Come on now and daddy take me for a l- Come on now and daddy don't play with your life. Cause you gon' be in for the ride of your life. I ain't scared to do life. My nigga look me in my eyes. I'm the motherfucking prize. That's not disgusting now, is it? It's like, hi, baby. <laughs> he is fed up with you, Layla. Mine doesn't even want to get contact. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's really ornery. Oh well. I am forcing myself to take one year off. This is day one. Just be an artist, girl. Just be an artist. Stop doing all that talking because maybe you are a little stupid, sis. <laughs> Am I a psychic? Because I'm actually psychic? Or am I psychic because I want to feel like I'm better than you? Hey baby, come here. Say hi to the people, baby. Look. 
Ooh, you stink too. Say hi. Say hi. His kennel cough is about gone. Say hi, baby. He's like a Gary Coleman. He's a 42 year old man. He's just pint sized. He's a swollen Gary Coleman. Say hi, boo. He don't like eating from my hand yet. You do stink. Hmm. It's a nectarine. Bless you. let me go wash this off can I tell y'all something I literally did not think about the fact that I would have to edit this video once I completed this tutorial I thought I was just giving y'all the real deal authenticity by like blow drying my hair and not cutting the, the footage every so often and I recognize how short-sighted that is now that this video is 42 minutes and 42 seconds strong and long 4242 is also rounded up, rounds up to 6-6 six, six in uh, numerology, and 6 is about balance, and this video seems a little imbalanced. To me it doesn't though, actually, because this video is really dope, it is really fire. I show you guys a really interesting t uh, technique on how to flat iron or to blow your hair out, and to get that leave out to blend, like, magnificently. You ain't never seen no weave blend like this once I get through with it. Yeah, it's looking real, 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 uh, I don't even know how to sideshow bop at the top, maybe. And it's looking real, like, luxurious and Brazilian at the bottom. But you just wait until I get done, and you're gonna see just how bomb this hair really, really bounces back with my method. Which I'm sure is actually everybody's method, so don't get me to acting like I'm the only one that does this. Or am I? I went to my old apartment complex today and y'all know I just moved out of my old unit, the one bedroom, one bathroom that I was sharing with my daughter after my grandma's house was unfortunately lost or just whatever, whatever. And they sent me a bill for $1,500, the exact amount of rent. Now, in my heart of hearts, I was like, Ebony, just pay that bill. Because why do you want the hassle of going back and forth with people? But at the same time, you know, that was that was Jesus. That was spirit talking to me, telling me to do that. But my carnal self was like, he's not going to get away with playing baby. And so I went up there to discuss this bill. And I felt so bad because I really, like, gave that nigga the business. Not that he's an N-word, but I gave that 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 Hispanic N-word the business. Uh, and not that it's race matters either, but I'm just, you know, you get what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just letting y'all know who he is, what he is, and his relation to me. Because I do feel like it's a little racist that the nigga want to charge me all this money just because you mad that I moved out. After roaches were call crawling out of my air conditioning, y'all remember them videos I was doing and roaches were crawling out of my air conditioning vents? Girl, I just could not. I mean, it was the ghetto. Uh, I know my apartment that I'm living right now, it did have a roach problem too, but not like that one. Plus, I got a little bit more room. So the roaches have their area and I have my area in my new apartment. That one bedroom, I couldn't deal. I refused to. And not only that, but by law in the state of Arizona, I don't have to. I literally don't have to live here if I don't want to if there are roaches crawling out of my air conditioning unit. Um, so anyways, real quick, before I go to talking about how I let this nigga had a business, do you see how I am pulling the weave and my natural hair and I'm just letting the, the air blow through it? 
the heat setting on this blow dryer is medium while the the actual i don't know the pressure of the heat the you get what i'm trying to say it's on high so the air is coming out on high but the heat setting is actually medium that's to keep my scalp from itching to all be fucking damned while i have my hair wrapped up but you'll see that later on and i do try to do the brush chase method but girl my i ain't got dexterity like that i really just don't Anyways, so yeah, I ended up going up in there and I was like, say, 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 I didn't say say, obviously, I that don't even sound right coming out of my mouth, but I did ask him, I was like, what is the meaning of this? Now, before I go into what I told this nigga, I'm going to say this. I used to have this issue in my own heart where I felt like I was always the angry black woman because I was always having to confront people. And it began to make me feel kind of bad because people that gaslight you make you feel bad for asserting yourself. Anyway, so I went through this whole period of time in my life where I didn't really stand up for myself or argue back with people based upon like this idea that it would make me into this angry black woman trope and so I let it ride I let a lot of shit ride actually that I probably should not have and then when I was dealing with my other apartment manager God forgive him not me God forgive him you know, I forgive him, but God forgive him. Uh, when I was dealing with him, I really, really, really told myself like, fuck that. You know what? I don't have the, the genetic makeup to let this ride any longer. And so I confronted that issue. It didn't necessarily go anywhere. Although I did get vindicated in the end, uh, I ended up having to essentially run in like, take that energy throughout my whole life so I've been confronting niggas left and right not left and right for no reason but left and right for many reasons number one the puppy I adopted him from PetSmart he was all fucked up I had to confront them people and now I got like a, a mysterious bill in the mail from this apartment complex that I moved out of legally saying that I abandoned my lease just lying and so it's not about the money but again it's about the fact that this person was just telling stories and shit why nigga now before I tell you what I told him I do also want to make it clear that I actually kind of enjoyed him as a person just in general I mean I like all people because they're made in the image of God so I gave his ass grace I was kind I was all that good stuff plus he was the apartment manager and so I didn't want to hold my previous experience with my other apartment manager against this person because that would just be unfair now wouldn't it and so I've always maintained a really positive relationship with this person and what ended up happening was is I ended up having a payroll check come through that I needed printed off and they printed it off for me and so I don't know if he just thought oh she got a little money in her pocket and now we want to get a little piece of it or whatever and so he all of a sudden began to like send me these letters in the mail talking about the rent was due and if I didn't pay the rent on time then I would get evicted and it was like it's not even like it was wasn't even the first it was like the, the the 30th the 31st he sent in the letter telling me that I was going to get evicted or a text message telling me I was going to get evicted if I didn't pay my rent that wasn't even due it was really obviously very 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 strange I'm sure he sent this to everybody in the complex because maybe he's not that that weird but you never know you just really never know and so again it's not really about the money because I did have the money to pay it off I have the money to pay it off right now it's the fact that this nigga is just being extraordinarily dishonest now real quick before I don't go into telling you what I told him as you can see I'm really just finger detangling these bundles because of the simple fact that like I mean, it's just easier. It makes the hair silkier. I used this Blueberry Bliss hair or scalp oil on my braid down because it has like um, tea tree oil in it and all those disinfectant oils so that if my hair begins to like get moldy or mildewy, which happens when you wear a sew-in so that it won't get that way, I put a lot of that oil under my braid down. And in effect, it was on my fingertips. It was coming through the braid down, obviously. And so me kind of like finger detangling this through my hair like that allowed me to manipulate it and pull the oils down the shaft of not just my own hair, but the actual um, bundles, which makes them blend so much better. As you can see, I didn't do anything. You saw that I had an actual little Afro sitting there on top of these regular bundles. And now for all intents and purposes, they're completely blended. I could walk around with my head like this if I really, really wanted to, but keep watching and you'll see.
<laughs> all right so anyway so yeah i was like what is going on with this person to all of a sudden to why you over here like trying to trying to like be really confrontational so like i said i went in there and i began to ask them about the the rundown on this bill print it off and tell me what it is that you're charging me for and do you know that this person there literally is a, a balance on here as of april the 16th 2023 now me i broke my lease and i moved out on april the 10th or the 11th or whatever and so as of 4 16 2023 there was a zero balance on my account because all my rent had been paid up and there was no balance there obviously and then all of a sudden on may the 6th he starts charging me 25 dollars worth of late charges on an account that don't even have a balance on it i was like i was like print that out and when i'm as i'm looking at it they're printing it off they're also looking at it really dumbfounded and it's almost like why are you playing these reindeer games with me and then all the way, so on 416, there's no balance. Everything's all well because I sent them all the legal notices that they needed, blah, blah, blah. And then so on April 16th, all the way down, let's go to uh, May 16th, they all of us, I'm sorry, May 18th, they all of a sudden charged me $754 for partial rent for, I don't know what, what I don't know what they're charging me that for. I was like, what is you, and then they, it, and again, it's not really about the money. I could run down and tell you all the stuff that they're charging me, uh, which equates to the amount of one month's worth of rent. But it was just really, honestly, the uh, the actual, I won't even call it disrespect because I don't necessarily take offense to it because I know that there's just something going on with this nigga to why he's doing this. But let me tell you what I told him. Now, as I get ready to tell you what I told him, do you see how bomb this is blending? Like, yeah, my hair is cut pretty even on that particular side of the leave out. But as you can see, like when you rake your fingers through your hair and really just finger detangle it and like treat all of it like it's the same, it really just kind of lays down together as if it were just growing out your head together like that. And I know like a lot of people might say, oh, no, you, it's, the, it's, the, it's because of the texture of my hair or because technically I think I have, I, I would say I have maybe like 4A hair, maybe 3C hair, but that's pushing it because baby girl ain't really got no tight coils or whatever. So I know I have like a, a decent grade. I'm using finger quotes when I say that. I know I have a pretty decent grade of hair, but all hair can do what it is that I'm showing you girl i just trained my hair to act like this and so when you want to train your hair to really take heat well and to really like just look as good as you want it to look you got to get in there like swimwear and I've, i'm going um probably three years strong on my new found hair journey where i cut it all even i cut a bunch of it off because my hair was technically the length of these bundles for the most part before i chopped it all off sis. and i'm now trying to grow it all out because you know i just wanted to start over i had really bad anemia y'all know i had to have surgery sweetheart like i was really kind of like messed up health wise and i had to start over on my hair because a lot of it had fallen out because of all that stuff that had just kind of went down and fucked up my health anyways so yeah look at that look at that that shit looked bomb but you just keep on watching sweetheart anyways let me get back to what i told this nigga but yeah, like I know y'all remember seeing them videos and I had roaches crawling out the ceiling. Or how about them videos that where y'all saw where the bathroom ceiling was all ate up? Like that apartment complex was really wrong. And I know that they moved me in there uh, again because I'm black. I know that they did it like on purpose and kind of like left the apartment looking all effed up because I'm Afro-American. Um, and so I feel like that at least. Let me not say I know it for sure, but I feel as if that's why they did it because they really did not make any effort to clean up that apartment when I first got in there. It was really tore up. And I was in a really desperate place at that time because my grandma had just lost her house and her life after that, uh, you know, going forward or whatever, let's be honest. And um, I just did not have the mental space and capacity to really like go in there and like move out, move somewhere else and blah, blah, blah. And I also thought that any apartment complex in their right mind would just like work with their clientele. You don't make money on vacant units, baby. You make money off of people that actually pay their rent on time, sir. Anyways, so I went ahead and just like uh, tried my best to work with them people. And apparently it just ain't working out. Anyway, so before I get into what I really told his ass, I do want to let you guys know that I am wrapping my weave just like I'd wrap my real hair. So um, 
as you can see, I'm using a little bit of like oil or this is Aquaphor obviously to treat the dryness around my edges because at one point my edges had started to like um, break a little bit because I had really bad anemia uh, that I did have surgery for, but baby girl, it's got to bounce back and the Aquaphor is going to help with that. Not only that, but obviously when you first wash your bundles, especially when you do it at home and you didn't get under the hooded dryer, I do have a hooded dryer, but I'm not going to get under it during this video, obviously. Um, but when you get your uh, braid down, really is still wet on the inside. So I wanted to use the aqua for my edges. I wanted to wrap it up and I wanted to like let that heat from the the wet hair the heat from my actual head i wanted that to like basically allow that aquaphor to penetrate a little bit deeper and also since my hair is technically still wet the aquaphor wicks moisture away from wherever you put it at so if i put the aquaphor on my edges then for all intents and purposes my edges should still be decent when i get up and take my do-rag off because of the fact that i had aquaphor on there and it's taking the moisture off so there's that part and also, before I tell you what I told this nigga, I want y'all to notice as well that I'm telling you, when you blow dry your hair with just your hands and you really like use the tension method and you like run those natural oils down the length of your own hair plus down the length of that, that weave hair, it's not only going to like soften it, make it all move like really really well but it's also going to like make it blend like nobody's business because really the best way to make your hair blend is to treat it all the same and so this is me wrapping my hair treating it all the same and girl if for all intents and purposes if y'all didn't know this is giving scalp it's giving scalp sis so i told his ass i was like you are really dishonest I was like, I never had a problem with you. Like, we work together very well. You know, I've told you all these things. I sent you all the documentation I was supposed to send you. Did you not receive those keys? He kept telling me I hadn't gotten my keys. And he was like, yeah, I, I did. And I was like, then why are you so dishonest? I was like, I'm extraordinarily disappointed in you because I am surprised that you are so incredibly dishonest. He looked like he felt bad or whatever, but it wasn't about making him feel bad. I just wanted to give him some constructive, some constructive feedback because we are all customer service representatives for one another for all intents and purposes. Real quick before I finish this, let me tell you that aquaphor on the ends of that weave, honestly, just hold it together so that it don't start flying away while I'm wrapping my hair. And when I wake up, because here's the thing real quick. I know I'm talking about something else, but let's just say this. When you really, really, really start taking care of your weave hair so that it lasts, you know, a couple years or whatever, you really do need to treat it the way that you treat your real hair. And my real hair, if I was wrapping it, I would put a tiny little bit of oil on it so that it uh, fed my ends. Because I know a lot of people think that their hair is dead, but your hair is not dead. Like, it is an extension of a living vessel. You are a living vessel, sis. That hair is alive and well. But yes, I just told him in all actuality that you are incredibly dishonest. I was letting him know, I told him, I was like, I'm surprised at you that you are this dishonest. And once again, like I said, I didn't want to say that to make him feel bad, although he looked like he was a little embarrassed. I wasn't trying to embarrass him either. I was just trying to give him once again, some type of constructive feedback, sis. Um, because of the fact that, you know, when you are encountering the people in your life every single day, your coworkers or just whoever, when you're doing things like that, like it really is your job and your duty as a light worker to be able to uh, let them know how they are coming off. Because maybe he don't know that he's all dishonest and strange, or maybe he don't know that I know that I think that he's dishonest and strange. And if I can see it, everybody can see it. And so, you know, I'm trying to help him out in the long run because it's going to cause him more trouble to remain that way than to do the right thing by God. And so I was letting him know God saw him. And I felt no way about it. Like it was one of the best conversations I'd ever had in my life. And that constructive feedback that I gave him, I guarantee you was going to change that man's life. Truly. As vessels of the almighty living God, it really is our job to help each other out. You know, each one teach one. Because at the end of the day, the other alternative is, is that the next person that he encounters that is offended by his behavior of charging them extra money that they don't have, because maybe they don't have it. I'm good, but maybe the next one ain't got it. And they will whoop his ass. And I'm trying to save him from getting his ass whooped. Praise be unto Jesus, because I guarantee you, not everybody is going to like 
be as calm as I am. Not everybody has the words to say, nigga, you was dishonest and I can dispute this and be done with it. Not everybody has those words. Some people just have square up, bitch, nigga. Some people only have that. So y'all know I just rescued baby from a life of being a pound puppy selling that pussy in the kennels. And he does this little thing where he tries to smile and look like a good boy so I don't take him back to the kennels. And he's like, he's like, but his teeth up here, sus. Y'all gotta start brushing y'all's dog's teeth, especially if you're gonna ab abandon him at the shelter later on. Cause now I gotta come about my pockets and try and like decrustify this boy's teeth. Have y'all seen Lilo and Stitch? My daughter is Lilo and he is Stitch. He's a little alien with them crusty little sharp teeth. And whenever Stitch tries to look innocent for Lilo, he ends up looking wicked and crazy because his teeth are all fucked up. That's baby. That's what baby does. He's like, hey, nigga, you look maniacal, bro. You look maniacal. Now, before I go wrong, wrong, go into my video, I do want to say there are abandoned animals that need our help, sis. Now, I did adopt a baby from the Arizona Humane Society, uh, and I did have some issues with pet marks. They adopted him out with puppy COVID, with canine COVID, or kennel cough, which is nothing like a regular cold, as I was told, but whatever. So it can be a hard journey, but it's so worth it. Like my little companion over there, he don't even know that he's in the wrong for coughing all over my stuff and snotting everywhere. Who knew animals did that? Who knew? But there are very many animals that need our help. They are in shelters, they're in homes, and they're looking to be rehomed with someone that loves them. It is a bumpy ride, it is quite the journey, but if you're waiting to be prepared, you're never going to be prepared to bring home your bundle of joy. That goes for puppies, animals, or even the baby that you're going to end up having, sis, or sir. He so phony. So, I only call him when I'm horny. He only answer when he want me. He always answers for me what the fuck you mean. But I'm ready for the real thing and he don't want nothing. I guess I'm just blowing off steam. It's either my weight or the height weight. Sucker niggas go away while rich niggas gravitate. The gravity of this depravity is sending me. I need a reprieve, maybe some therapy. How about some chemistry? I want to be a better me. Hercules and Athena, why you clapping these cheeks up, bunching my sheets up and turning up your speakers. I got your baby daddy blowing out my tweeters. He's the Billy Ray to my Aretha. The only boy who could ever reach her was the son of a preacher. I got that nigga kissing on his pussy while he plying me with Deucey. And now your girl's so drunk and feeling loosey-goosey and she giving up this pussy. But like I said, that nigga's so phony. So I only call him when I'm lonely. He only answer when he want me. He always answers for me. What the fuck you mean? But I'm ready for the real thing. And he don't want nothing. But I guess I'm just blowing off steam. It's either my weight or the high weight. Sucker niggas go away while rich niggas gravitate. The gravity of this depravity is sending me. I need a reprieve. Maybe some therapy. How about some chemistry? I want to be a better me. Most definitely. Baby girl is a motherfucking problem Cause I can take your nigga no problem Cocky golden hoe That's my only fucking problem Shake your dairy air in those dairy yarn jeans Ass so fat They split up the seam Ass so fat Make your bitch switch teams Ass so fat Got you running through my dreams This was another Snarky Black Girl production baby Like, share, and subscribe Boo Snarky black girl, girl with a U, not with an I hole. That intro was hella trash, but my hair looked good, baby. Let me show you how it all started. That's me trying to do the rewind.